I'd like to begin, obviously, by thanking every single person for joining, um, especially joining on time. Mashallah, I'm very impressed. Thank you so much. My name is Leila. I am the project manager at Takado. And with me today, we have the entire Takado team, Murad and Shiren, that you know really very well, I guess, the founders. And then all of the teams, uh, team members that I will not be able to cite, that, but you will get a chance to speak to them as um, this webinar unfolds. So before getting into the heart of it, we've prepared something, you know, I see that going into the chat already. So how about we do it officially? Let me share my screen, inshallah. Screen one. Can you see my screen? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Not yet. It's coming. I really like Khalid's uh, avatar. All right, everyone. So you can there see my go. screen. Right. Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, so before we get into the um, the webinar, let's get to know each other a bit better. Let's um, have a quick chat. And for that, inshallah, what we'll be doing is I will be heading over to menti.com. So I want all of you guys to pull out your phones or a new tab in your laptop and go to menti.com and use the code 68356021 for us to be able to start inshallah. So I'll be keeping an eye on my menti. Leila, it's asking, what country are you joining us from? Is that where we're physically at or where we're originally from? Joining us from where you physically are. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can add where you're joining from. I, I mean, uh, your, your nationality, whatever makes sense to you. Inshallah. So that is the thing right now, guys. Um, open your phones. Let's go into menti.com and let, let's have, learn to know each other a bit better, inshallah. So I need to get this one and share the screen. Okay, so this is what you guys should be seeing, inshallah. We already have a lot of uh, submissions. We have two more minutes, guys, to enter. We have Lebanon, Ahlan, Wasahlan, Morocco, I have some Arabs in here, Netherlands. I will not even try to say hi in, in Dutch. That's fine. Saudi Arabia, a big chunk of our, of our uh, audience today is from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, France, South Africa, India, mashallah. We're having uh, four continents. Pakistan, welcome, welcome to all of you guys. Um, th this is wonderful, right? So this is where we, this is decentralization. This is our community, mashallah. So this is for where we are joining from. Are you guys ready for the next one? Shall Lebanon is getting bigger and we can come back to it at the end to see how it's doing. So the next one will be in two words, what do you expect from this webinar? Why did you join today? You know, what are your expectations? Shala? Wow, somebody wants to know more. Definitely, we'll be talking about what Takaton is, you know, how to get started, why we're doing all of this. Uh, yes, learn more comes back a lot. So you're at the right place and you're learning more about Takaton and everything related to it. Fact finding. Okay. I know, right? It's been a, a very, very um, virtual kind of, you know, seeing things in so this is an opportunity for you to look at the team. It's not only on Telegram, if you are in our Telegram channel, subhanAllah. And you know, have a, have a sense of the, the realness, you know, the facts behind Takatun Mishala. Understand, gain insight, collaborate. I like that. Collaboration with the team. Hi, we're here. Um, clarifications, know about the future. Wow, the stakes are high. <laughs> Meet the community, uh, understand the mission. That's wonderful. Okay. So with that having been done, um, it's very clear for me. Let's move on, inshallah, to the agenda for today. I want to thank all of you guys again for joining. 
and uh, for, for gracing us really with your presence and, and all of those expectations, inshallah, myself and the team will try to, to not only meet them, but to proceed them, inshallah. So we'll be explaining what, why it's concern exists. Um, sorry. Um, why Takatan exists, um, how to join, inshallah, how, how does it work? We'll have a big chunk of the Q&A because you came here to speak to people, not necessarily to know more, but also to meet the team. So we'll have that time together to speak, to hear from you guys. And then we have an exciting activity prepared for you guys at the end. So without further ado, the first section of this call, inshallah, will be um, our CEO, Murad Ersan, um, the, the go-getter, the power behind Takada, inshallah, he will be explaining uh, a bit about the story and why um, we're here today, pretty much. Murad, bye. Yes, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, uh, first of all I want to say, uh, say clap for Murad Ersan. Clap Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. All right. Yes. Thank you, Santosh. So, uh, as everybody know, uh, my name is Murad, uh, the co-founder of uh, Takadao and Takaturn. So, um, I built uh, multiple uh, businesses for the past 25 years, and I just want to give you a little bit of uh, my background, uh, where I'm coming from, and uh, the reason. Uh, behind uh, Takachan, uh, in particular for this uh, webinar. So I'm, I come from a very uh, uh, humble uh, background and French Algerian grew up in what they call an underprivileged uh, neighborhood, neighborhood in, in, in north of France. And I, I like to, 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 to emphasize that the, the term underprivileged was actually for me a blessing because it was maybe in the privileged neighborhood, but it was a very privilege to be surrounded by simple people. Who are, we grew up in a very simple manners, and uh, our parents were actually alive and home. Uh, may Allah give them Jannah, inshallah, and reward them greatly. They were very simple, and they were uh, giving us much more privileged things that we, we would imagine that you don't get in those privileged neighborhoods. Attention. We, we live in a very, very uh, diverse community. So my neighbors were Portuguese, Algerian, Moroccan, you name it, uh, French, Italian. Uh, so many, so many diverse uh, nationality were living around our neighborhood. And uh, subhanAllah, what was really interesting is that uh, they were all communicating, uh, my parents, uh, and they were communicating communing with everybody around the neighborhood. So when you needed a pinch of salt, you would just knock at the doors and get it. You would need a, 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 a something to cook, you will find it. You know, it was really amazing how we live in the separate houses, but we were always here to for the little help that each neighbors required. Okay. And uh, one of the interesting things that, uh, that was uh, during our, lifetime i would say my my youth uh, my parents actually had a very close uh, relative so they trusted everybody in the relate in the family so they knew uh, people from around the neighborhood and outside the neighborhood and especially the people that we are belonging to i would say but what was interesting is that they were very very strict into not touching the riba alhamdulillah i never heard or never seen my father or my mother going to the bank and asking for a loan. And I was kind of surprised why, you know, what was the way of actually making it happen, you know? So basically, you know, when, whenever they wanted something, they used to go and talk to the cousin, relative, and so on and so forth, say we have these ideas or we have this project or we want that. So the community, uh, the close community of my parents, they would chip in, you know, they would chip in similar to uh, a committee, you know, but maybe not exactly what it, what committee is all about, like this Roska and the Takachan, but they were chipping in. So in order to avoid interest, in order to avoid anything. 
Alhamdulillah, all along her journey, my mother in particular, Allah Hamha, she was able actually to, to launch businesses, <laughs> feed the children, uh, and build even a house, mashallah, in Algeria, and support all the family. All around this kind of, uh, you know, al-ma'un, uh, little help, little money circulating in that fashion, without interest. So I think this is amazing. So I come from a family of, uh, of uh, 13. I'm the last boy. And that's how I grew up. So when I look at uh, uh, my cousin, and, you know, imagine I come from a family. 13, I have uh, cousins as well, and there are like numerous. But as I grew, subhanAllah, our relationship kind of descent itself. So my mother know, know everybody, and my father as well. But when we grew, uh, I had difficulties to even know my first cousin and so on and so forth. So let alone, how can I trust him? <laughs> In doing, uh, you know, uh, micro lending or something like that, which was like the more the family was growing, the more it was difficult to trust actually uh, people you dealing with, you know, even among your own family. Hence, uh, any the ideas of uh, making what my parents and the the people around my parents and the people around were building this, uh, you know, jamia takafula we call it committee a digital and bring back the trust into this digital operation. And why it's so important actually to have this kind of product? You know, first of all, there is the required help that people need. So, so many people actually really, really want to help one another. Regardless you're Muslim or non-Muslim, you want to help people get into the habit of supporting one another. The fact of giving, actually, when you give, you actually receive more. And that's, a, you know, it's a, it's a fact. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, give and you shall receive. Manifold in this dunya and fil akhirah. And the fact of putting baraka into any of the transactions as well. Okay? So, alhamdulillah, the concept of uh, takatun is really born out of that, you know. Helping the one who have and the one who don't have. Increasing, actually, our wealth you know, in, in different ways because you can increase your wealth by giving and you can give increase your, your wealth by uh, also uh, receiving. So all of those transactions actually, you know, for people who believe in Allah subhanahu and believe in whatever they want to believe, but the more you give, the more you receive. And this concept is really uh, any, uh, something that people want to be part of. Okay, so we see the community of the Muslim actually living abroad and they are part of the well of, I would say, you know, the privilege. And we see our community in Africa, Indonesia, Bangladesh, Pakistan, who are the ones who are less privileged and they don't have access to banking and let alone anything else, loan. So alhamdulillah, so what we try to do is really bridge the gap, uh, bring the people who have from uh, the well of community, help by building those jama'at takaful at scale, in order to help people reach the goal. The goal is what? Some people, they need maybe some money just for hands meet, just to live, subhanAllah. Some people, they need to buy a car. Some people, they need it to up, up, upgrade their rooms and stuff like that. So everybody has different needs. But the timeline of your need is different and, and, and changed. And that's why we believe this kind of open, transparent way and trusted way of sharing this baraka that we have, this uh, blessing that we have with the community, it's amazing. So I, I just want to finalize uh, my thing by, by uh, saying, anytime you try to really reach out to people and give of the little that you have, you know, don't you will expect so much to come back. And but it has to be done, like we say, alhamdulillah, in a trusted, uh, transparent community. And inshallah, uh, may Allah accept, may God accept our action as little as they are. And welcome to the Takatran first webinar, inshallah. Thank you so much for listening and uh, looking forward to hear your question. Assalamu alaikum.
Thank you so much for that, Morad. Um, very inspiring. I've heard this story before, and each time I hear it, it's extremely, extremely inspiring. So I'd like to tell everybody, mashallah, we have 47 um, participants already. Thank you so much for joining again, and thank you for your time and your trust. Um, that you can ask questions in the chat, inshallah, for now. But at the end or in the middle, we'll have a complete Q&A question open. You'll be able to come in and ask your questions live, inshallah. So um, the second part of our um, uh, program today is Sharan explaining to us exactly how does Taka Turn work, right? So we know the value positions, we know how good it is and everything. But how do we actually get started, especially if you come from a non-Web3 background? Sharan? Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. OK, um, I'm going to have to go through the more technical details of our product. Uh, I ask you to hold your questions until the end, inshallah. Uh, Leila, if you could move on to the next slide. So as Murad explained from his own personal experience, what we're doing, Kekatan, is really no nothing new. What we're trying to do is to bring um, this old practice that we've been doing for hundreds of years and to put it on the Web3 and to use cryptocurrency um, in order to preserve our wealth and save. So I give you, so, so this picture you see in front of you is a camel, as you can see, and on it has a bunch of different names of um, this thing which we are doing, right? So in Saudi Arabia, it's called Jamaiya. In Egypt, Jamaiya. Uh, in India, the Chit Fund. In uh, um, Pakistan, the Ballot Committee. In, uh, I think, um, uh, Nigeria, SACO or Roskas. So I'll ask you for a minute to, right now, go on the chat. And what is it called in your country? Or what do you know it as? And while you're doing that, I am going to tell you a little story of mine. So in Af parts of Africa, so in Cameroon, I think, among the French-speaking Cameroonians, it's called the Tontin. All right? And it's very funny. I am originally from Singapore. And I am of... Uh, my father is Hokkien, so Chinese, Hokkien, and my mother is Teochew. So my mom came to visit me you know, a couple of weeks ago, and she was asking me, so what are you guys doing now? So this is about telling me. So I explained to her how this thing works, and she was like, oh, my mother used to do it, and we called it the Tong Din. And I was like, what? Excuse me, say that again. She was like, Tong Din. I was like, but that's a French word, subhanAllah. In her language, which is Chinese Teochew, it actually means tong, which is touch, and the tin, where you put the money in. So part of that was uh, really, really funny for me. But alhamdulillah, the point being, we have been doing this all over the world forever. Uh, next slide, please, Leila. So now, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it works. So if there, there are two images on this slide, the first one says existing model, and that's what is happening in the real world today. OK, so how it works is if you look at the, 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 the image on the top, you have four months, month one, month two, month three, month four. And in each month, there are four people. And it's the same four people. So let's suppose in month one, <clears throat> everybody has agreed we're all going to contribute $100 into the money pot every month. OK, so in month one, person one, two, three, four, they each put $100. Therefore, it becomes $400, right? And the, the, the individual number one with the star, she will take the full money pot, the full $400. And in month two, they will repeat the cycle and everybody will put another $100 again. And individual number two with the star, she will take the full money pot. And in month three and in month four, it goes on until everyone has had a chance to take the money pot. Now, this is how people are doing it in the real world today. Um, now, why do people do this, right? So very often it's because somebody needs to purchase something that they would like to save for. However, they want to purchase it a little bit faster than what they would, than the time it would take them to save. So imagine now my, my son, he wants to buy a PlayStation, okay? It's $400. Now he's very impatient as all children are. So he's like, I want to buy it today, but I don't have enough today. I can save $100 a month, but I can't 
but today I don't have one. I don't have 400. I only have 100. So he goes and he finds four of his friends and he says, well, okay, let's do this together, please, please. And put in 100 a month. So in the first month, I take it. So now I have this, my son takes it. Now he has $400. He can go buy his PlayStation right away. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why people do it. The other reason is because this is actually a really good savings habit, right? So you imagine it's like dieting. It's kind of like how many diets I've tried. I've never gone through more than two weeks with a diet. But if you do it with somebody, then you're more likely and more motivated to continue. So savings is the same way. When you try to save on your own, a lot of times you, you know, uh, you know, there was a, a nice pair of boots or a nice coat or a nice handbag. So halas, this month, no savings. So what we're trying to do is to create the savings habit um, that is beneficial for everyone. So this is another reason why people do it. And then the last reason, which I think is a very important reason, is people actually want to help each other. And in, in turn, when it's their turn to need help, they also want others to help them. So it's very much about community support. So I may not be the first person to get it or even the second, I may be the last person to get the money, but then I want to help whomever it is, I want to help my friend, my family, my community, you know, by savings as well, by saving, I'm sorry, as well. So this is really something that uh, motivates people in the real world. Now, coming to Takatan, which is the second model on the bottom of the screen, um, we are doing things, we, we brought this to the Web3, okay? And there are a couple of reasons why, and I'll explain why we brought this to the Web3 later on. But in the real world, there are really two um, problems with this model that we're facing. Problem number one is trust and default, okay? So, uh, the, the biggest fear when you do one of these things is that one of the people in this circle, he's going to take the money and run away and stop paying. This is a big problem. So trust is an issue, particularly if you're doing it in a global manner and you don't really know the person, the other person who's in your um, turn group. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys be, uh, have heard of the story of this one lady in Pakistan. She was in, she actually ran away, I think, with me nearly a million dollars or more, slightly more than a million dollars from doing these, what they call in Pakistan, ballot committees. SubhanAllah. Amazing. I don't know how she did it because that's a lot, a lot of money, especially in Pakistan and with a lot, a lot of people. So what we're trying, what, what our model does is to actually um, counter this problem of trust. And the other thing that we wanted to do and the reason also why we put it on Web3 is to make it more scalable. So today, this is still a dominant way of financing for a lot of Muslims in the world. But it's very difficult and has a lot of friction. Why? Because you need somebody to manage the money, number one. You need to have the people who are willing to do it. And you don't always find them because you don't always, you aren't always able to trust the people that you find. So you can't really scale it up. So you can't really rely on it. It's not very reliable. And you also can't do it for bigger purchases because you can't find enough people to do this. So we wanted to put it on a global stage via Web3 and crypto in order to scale it up. Okay, so how then do we solve the problem of trust? And this is why you see on the left side of the screen, a thing in purple says security deposit. Thank you for the arrow that's going. <laughs> um, this, so we're requiring, in order for you to participate in a turn group, which is you know what we call it, the, a turn group, we're requiring that you put down a security deposit in the form of Ethereum, okay? That is one and a half times the loan amount. All right, I'll repeat again. We're requiring each participant to put a security deposit in the form of Ethereum. That is one and a half times the loan amount, okay? And if you make all your payments consistently, at the end, you see the green circle, at the end, your, you can take your security deposit back. Now, if somebody misses a payment, of course, default, then we will liquidate part of your security deposit and we will send it to the person who's supposed to get the money pot. Now, the obvious question is, well, if I had this security deposit, why will I need to go through and do this loan, okay? And let me just give you an example. This is actually a very common thing that we do in everyday life. Now, myself, I have gold jewelry, 
okay it's, it's like gold jewelry that's been passed down from my mom or it's gold jewelry that I bought I bought and I can always if I need to buy something I can always sell my gold jewelry to buy that one thing but I don't want to sell my gold jewelry because number one gold is a great store of value and the price is usually increasing over time and number two the sentimental value so I don't want to sell it so what I can do is I can take my gold jewelry and I can go to somebody and say here's my collateral you keep the gold jewelry and I will borrow against my gold jewelry okay another example is and this people do with their homes a lot so they have a house that's worth some value and they don't want to sell the house obviously because either number one they are living in it or number two they expect the house value to increase which most of the time it does it always keeps up with inflation so in that in that sense so they so then they they say okay so my house is the collateral they go to the bank and they borrow against their collateral so very similarly here, we're saying to you guys, our people, our community, you are holding ETH because you believe in ETH as a store of value, right? A lot of us are huddling ETH and alhamdulillah, because recently the ETH price has been going up. If you tell me today, sell your ETH, go buy this PlayStation for Ahmed, who's impatient, I would say, no way, ETH is going to go up and Bitcoin is going to go reach to the moon and I'm not selling it. But I still need a little bit of money to finance whatever it is I need to do. So I will take my ETH and I will put it in a security deposit. And on a monthly basis, we will collect payments in USDC, which if you don't know, USDC is a cryptocurrency that is pegged to the US dollar. So the, the price is pretty much fixed. Okay, so there's no fluctuation in price. So why, did we, why are we taking payments in USDC? It's pretty simple. Usually... These things, you want to do something in the real world. You want to buy something, you want to finance a wedding or whatever. So you're going to need to be sure that when you get your money pot, that amount of money has not fluctuated in value and you can actually buy the thing you want to buy. And hence, we're doing this in USDC. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I know there are tons of questions. So I'm going to ask you guys to just hold on the questions or start typing in the chat that we can come back to it later on, inshallah. Um, but I will now uh, move on to the to the next part of this presentation. And I know I have very limited amount of time before Leila kicks me off. So let's yes, and, change and maybe the and maybe quickly. I I really liked um, Shala, the, the explanation of why people do that. Right, uh, it was very very um, uh, thorough, Mashallah. And I'd like actually to hear from the audience why um, what, what's the reason that uh, was. Join uh, Akatron. So quickly, I'll borrow two minutes from you, Sharon, please. And I'll launch a poll. Um, you guys wake up, inshallah. I'll launch a poll and you see the question in front of you, inshallah. The question is what makes you most excited to get started with? And from all of the reasons that were um, uh, explained by Sharon right now, what makes you most excited, inshallah? So we'll give two. How come I cannot vote? <laughs> you are a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Mashallah. Okay, it's going um very well. If you have voted or if you have responded, you can just drop in the chat. Um, you know, voted something like that. Use that democracy vibes, I guess. Um. All right, so you have one more minute, inshallah, and then we'll close the poll. And we'll be able, then when we go to the next section on how to do it, to say exactly what our audience feels about it, have numbers and everything. And Sharon will be able to gear her explanation a bit more, give her, you know, solid, inshallah, proof. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll end the poll right now. Um, and the result, inshallah, is, um, a staggering, right? It's really the community and social impact uh, uh, at 48%. We have the savings at 26. We have the interest-free loan at 22. And we have a bit of the crypto hobbling. So it gives the sense our audience is very, very wet too. Masala, thank you so much for voting. And Sharon, I digress. Thank you. No, this was very actually helpful. Thank you. Okay, ah. I'm closing this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go into a little bit now what the Sekata look like and how do you start um, to give you a sense of uh, the product. And, but 
uh, let it be known that we are here to provide support. We will be launching a bunch of um, uh, sort of handbooks for you to to get everybody uh, uh, to to guide everybody on how to sign up and how to do all those things. Um, so don't worry if you don't catch everything or if it's confusing right now. Uh, it, you know we will be supporting you. Okay, so this is the dashboard that you will see once you have signed up for Techathon. Uh, and on the dashboard, you will see a number of plans, so number of turn groups that you can join. So if you look at the first turn group, it says Fast Track Saver, and it will tell you on a monthly basis how much you will be expected to contribute. Here it says 50 USDC. It will tell you the duration, which is four months, and it will tell you what the total money part is. So how much you will get when you are the turn group champion, the turn champion, we call it. And then what is the security deposit that you have to put, okay? And then at the bottom, it says the number of members. So every group needs to have the, the correct number of members in order to start, okay? So you can see how many members are there, have already joined. So in this case, all of them say zero because this is a dummy. Uh, but it, you will see, okay, there's one person already there, two people already there, three people already there, etc. Now, it's important to note that it's right now, when you get the money pot, depends on a first come, first served, first served basis. So if you're the first one to join the group, then you will be the first one to get the money pot. This is how it is today, but we have a plans for a different um, way of allocating the position which will come in the next phases, inshallah. Okay, so let's suppose now you, you click on one of these, you, you say join fast track server. So can we have, move on to the next slide? Yeah, then you will see this now dashboard. Okay, so this is a dashboard and it will explain all the same details. Uh, and it will, oh, but the most important thing here for you is the deadline. Okay, so on the right side, there's a clock that counts down we have an enrollment period, quote unquote, for each turn group of seven days. So within seven days, um, if it fills up, then uh, it will start in seven days. If it doesn't fill up within the seven days, then actually we will return all the security deposit that has been paid immediately, okay? Now, in order for you to then join this group, you say, okay, halas, I want to join this group now. Um, we will then, you will click pay the security deposit, okay? And the app will actually prompt you to connect your MetaMask wallet. If you look right above where it says pay the security deposit, it says MetaMask wallet. Now, I'm going to go into this in a little bit more later on. But for now, the MetaMask wallet, for those uninitiated to crypto, is simply like, um, uh, it's actually exactly what it's called. It's a wallet. So imagine today you want to buy something on Amazon. You need to have a payment method, right? You need to have a bank account with a credit card of some kind. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. Bank account with a credit card of some kind in order to make a purchase. Now, on crypto, or on the Web3, in the crypto world, you also need to have this kind of bank account credit card. And this is what we call a wallet. And MetaMask is one of the more popular wallets that is on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, but there are many, many options. So another one that is very popular is Trust Wallet that is by Binance. Okay, moving on, next step. So once you've paid your security deposit, you are now part of the turn group, okay? And your dashboard will switch to show you all the pertinent details of this turn group. Now, one of the important things most people care about is when am I going to get my money pot, okay? And you can see then um, the turn champion order, which is the top right, oh yes, there you go. And it will show you who else is in your group? Okay, these are just avatars because we try to keep privacy of people and who's going to go at which, you know, who's going to go first, okay? And you can also see under where it says, on the right, under the green button, the turn group roadmap. And that will tell you, okay, which month you will actually be receiving your money pot. So in this case, February, okay? Um, and then there is a calendar which guides you on, okay, when do you have to make the payments, etc. So remember, the first payment is the security deposit. You only do that once. And then subsequently, you are making a monthly payment, right? Because this is a savings program, so you're saving on a monthly basis. 
do you, so the calendar that is to guide you, okay, when is your payment now due? And when your payment is due, a button will show up that says make payment, and it will do it again through your MetaMask wallet. And at the end of the turn group, after everything has uh, is done, you we will withdraw. You can then withdraw back your security deposit. So you get your security deposit back. Uh, the only thing I want to say here um, is that we the security deposit, the collateral, stays in a smart contract that nobody has access to. Okay, not us, not you, not the other people in the turn group. And I bring that up because it is therefore very secure. It's like a safe deposit box that nobody has the key to. The, but it's timed so that this safe deposit box will automatically open after a certain amount of time for you to come and take your money. Now, a lot of you have heard of all the weird things that have been happening in crypto world, FTX, which you know lost a lot of people money, and a lot of uh, what they call rug pulls with scams where people are, you know, they, they tell you put money here and then they somehow steal it. What we're trying to do is to ensure that we have 100% transparency and that you can see this money is there and nobody is going to touch it. We're not going to invest it. We're not going to loan it out. We do nothing with it. It just sits there as a security deposit. And hopefully your security deposit, because it's in Ethereum, will increase in price. So that at the end, you, when you get it back, you actually have more than uh, what you put in to begin with. And if you look right at the bottom of this screenshot where it says smart contract, you will also be able to, for those of you who are coders, be able to go and um, learn, you know, read the actual smart contract and to actually audit the code to make sure that what we're saying is true. Um, I think there's a question, Leila, do we take questions now or is it for later? You guys can raise your hands and it will start arranging you in order. So it's first come first. Serve. Raise your hands and once you stand, inshallah, you'll be able to speak and ask a question. Okay. Uh, alternatively, uh, drop it in the chat as well if you don't want to speak. Uh, so no questions for now. We do this later. Correct. Correct. Okay. Moving on then. So I'm not going to bore you guys too much. Next slide. All right. So I've explained all the technical details, but most people don't really care about the technical details. They just want to know why should I do this? What's in it for me? So as we have uh, mentioned before, number one, it is really a form of cooperative and structured saving. It's a way of saving money together, right? And to build our communities together. Number two, what is important for us, the Muslims among us, and I know there are non-Muslims uh, here today, it's uh, your most, most welcome. Uh, but what is important for those of us who care is that it is also interest free, right? which makes it Sharia compliant. And for everybody, it is a form of debt free uh, financing. Now, why we say debt free is because you are literally paying for it as you go along. So you don't have the situation where you fall into debt you cannot afford. Uh, it is also turn based. So everyone takes a turn, which has a very communal feel. feel. And we go back to the point that it's socially impactful. Um, you are helping somebody through your savings, just as they will help you one day when you need help. And the last thing I think which is important for a lot of people is that as um, you know, the, the crypto space, there's a lot of hype. And the very first people who entered who are now, you know, millionaires and billionaires. Um, they came in, but they already they, they they were very much risk takers and they knew how to play the game. Okay, so a lot of people now today, they have a need for crypto. Not only do they want to use it as a way to, uh, to make money, but also sometimes they have no choice, right? So I talked to my Nigerian um, counterparts in this call today, to the Pakistanis who are here today, to the Turkish and the Lebanese who are here today. Your currency is depreciating going like this, Algerians as well as basically all over the world. And you cannot hold value in your currency anymore. And it just so happens that the only alternative banking system you have is crypto. And so a lot of you are actually going to crypto because of this. And you want to learn how to invest in crypto. You want to learn how to enter this space in a very low risk way. So Takatan is again, a way for you guys to do this. It's safe, halal, uh, interest-free and uh, very, um, and not risky. So this is why I think 
these are the, these are the reasons why I think um, you guys will be will will benefit from second term. All right, moving on. I'm almost done, so I I'm sorry if this is taking too long. Uh, because you are our early community, because you guys are the ones who will support us, give us feedback, and tell us what you want us to build. This we want to share with you what we what our roadmap is for this product. Um, today you can see it's in beta, and what you will what you will notice during our beta is that there are very limited number of options of turn groups, and they're very low in value, right? Because we want to let everyone have an opportunity to test it without being afraid and without staking in a lot of money. So we make them very short in duration and very low in value, okay? Now, once we are done with beta, which we believe will take about a month to two months, then we will start to launch a larger um, turn groups and different types of features. In phase one, we will also integrate other kinds of wallets. So today we're using MetaMask, but this, as I said, is one of uh, many, many numbers of wallets that we can use. So we will start integrating other kind of wallets so that people who don't have, who don't use MetaMask can use MetaMask. Uh, phase two, we'll have other types of collateral. So ETH was a, ETH was a first pick because it was easy. I have to say, a lot of people um, already huddle in uh, uh, ETH either. So um, it was easy for us to say, okay, let's use that as the first collateral. But we want to expand. Like I'm a Bitcoiner, so I would love to use Bitcoin as a collateral. Uh, and then we want to, in the future, also do things which are even more ambitious and larger. Imagine be being able to buy a home or a car and have a tokenized property as your collateral. But this is in the future, inshallah. And if you're looking at the slide, it says there are Muslimanity NFT. So this is a sneak peek into our NFT project, which is going to come out. And inshallah, you can also use your NFT to be collateral. Phase three, we will introduce actually a point system that then allows you to choose which position you want to be to get your money pot. Okay. Now, if we, we discussed this a little bit earlier, you help people, people should help you back. So this is a way of codifying that so that you're earning points as you're participating in a turn group. And you can then redeem those points to be the first in the next turn group. So this is the, the big idea. And phase four is to really to link Takatan into the Takado ecosystem. Um, I know many of you have come here because you know myself and Murad from Takado, which is an insurance DAO. And this is coming soon, inshallah. I don't want to talk about it too much, but it will all link together uh, in phase four, inshallah. Next slide, please. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm almost done here and I'm gonna leave you with just a couple of more of the technical things um, so that you understand like how to get started. Uh, for those of you who will find this challenging because it's your first time in crypto world, again, do not worry. We'll provide a lot of support resources. Plus you can always come and talk to us. So we have a chat on the website that you can actually engage with a live person in order to understand how to do this. Now, the, the first step really is to create your Takatan account. So after this call, everybody click on the link or the QR code that's provided and go create your account. The second step is for you to then set up your MetaMask wallet. So again, the MetaMask wallet, a non-custodial wallet is sort of the payment system in Web3 and crypto. Now within the MetaMask wallet, you have a number of, um, uh, layer one blockchains, a number of blockchains that you can pick, okay? So in this case, you're going to pick Arbitrum, which sits on the Ethereum blockchain. But the reason why we using Arbitrum is because it has much lower fees. Um, so I don't want to get too technical, but uh, this is uh, just something to keep an eye on, that you have to be on the Arbitrum uh, layer two on Ethereum. And then of course, you have to figure out a way to get crypto into your wallet. Now, there are actually many ways to do this today. There is peer-to-peer, -peer, so you can buy from somebody who has already crypto. There's the, the exchanges, so you have Binance and Coinbase and lots of these exchanges that exist all over the world. And once you have money in your MetaMask wallet, then it's a matter of just connecting your wallet to our app and then choosing a turn group, which is step number three. And 
to go from there. So I am, I wanted, I'm done here. I want to just leave you with a couple of words. Um, those of you who are crypto savvy, I don't have to say this. I mean, you don't, uh, you already know this, but those of you who are new, don't be overwhelmed. This is a whole new world that you're entering in. And inshallah, bismillah, this is a beneficial world for you. Um, and it's, uh, and it's time to learn. And uh, we are here to help you. So thank you for that. Thank, thank you, you for your so much, attention. <laughs> Sharon, mashallah. That was very, very thorough. So great. Um, I, I'm sure many people have a lot of questions, mashallah. Thank you so much for uh, patiently waiting for the opportunity to ask the questions. So what we'll do right now is that we can just, uh, you can just raise your hand on, on Zoom. You have this um, option to just raise your hand. So if I go to more, for example, and either you'll find it in the reactions, okay? Or just the hand gesture. Uh, gesture. So raise hand under the reaction um, if you have any question, just like myself, okay? So um, we have one question in the chat already. Um, Okay, I've lost, I think it was from Khalid something. Um, he's asking, when will we be operating in uh, KSK? Maybe Sharon, you can finish on that before we move on. To yes, so we will be live tomorrow, inshallah. And today already the, the website is up. You can already start to uh, sign up and things like that. But yeah, if you have crypto actually, in case this is the global, we don't have any borders and countries. So as long as you have uh, your cryptos, you can we can right away participate to to the to the data capture from anywhere in the world. Thank you very much. Yes, that was Haula. You're most welcome. Okay, so we also have um, um, FAQs. You know, uh, we've gathered some of them that you've been asking a lot, whether in the Telegram group or elsewhere. And one of them is actually. Um, if you if the return doesn't charge, then how do you make money? Um, Abdullah, do you want to take that? Hello everyone, I'm Abdullah Said from um, Takadao, work as product designer. So since uh, Takaturn is uh, new uh, in the market, we need to uh, we need to uh, be, be able to um, to try it and uh, tell us uh, what we're doing uh, right or wrong and um, to, to have the real feedback. And uh, inshallah, maybe in the future, we uh, could have uh, add uh, a little fees in a little point. So that's it. Thank you so much, Abdullah. We have another question um, from, yes, one second, from um, Chris. Kwasi, I guess. No, Mohammed is that too, yes. I have a question regarding the gas fee of ETH with 50 USDC monthly. Is this included in the gas fees or the gas fees will be covered by the Thank you. Mohammed. Mohammed from Taketer. There we go. I need, needed to unmute. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, the gas fees and the gas fees are uh, covered by. Um, by you first of all because you perform the transaction you sign the message uh, one method is, however is um, you can enable auto pay so if you have the usdc in your wallet uh, and using auto pay you can uh, we can make it so that uh, the operator which is us uh, pays the gas fees for the uh, the monthly payment Inshallah. Maybe maybe a good question for non Web3 audiences. What are gas fees to begin with? Gas fees are basically transaction fees because uh, the blockchain is operated by many people and there are validations occurring. And these people that are validating it or these machines that are doing that need an incentive to do so. And that's where the gas fees come, come from. It's basically a small fee, transaction fee, um, to pay the people that actually validate it. 
and the ga gas sheets are yeah. very low. They're usually like uh, converted, like you, the gas sheets are in ETH, but uh, converted to dollars, it's usually a few cents. Yes, so on Ethereum mainnet, gas fees can be very, very high. Sometimes they go yes. up to hundreds of thousands of dollars, but that's the reason why we're using Arbitrum, which is, um, I think they call it an optimistic roll-up, which reduces, yes. so they, they uh, group transactions together and then they pay one gas fee for multiple transactions. So then it becomes significantly mm -hmm. cheaper. And um, yeah. so it's usually in the sense. Yeah, and the good thing about Arbitrum is it maintains the security of Ethereum. So it doesn't make any sacrifices on that. Thank you so much, Mohammed. So um, a question, okay, these are these are more of us. Another question that people would uh, mainly ask is- uh, Leila, there are actually questions in the chat. So I've sent them to you on Slack as well. Yeah. From the audience. Um, I'll, I'll read that uh, one from Rami. Are you planning yeah, are you to get planning... financial? Yeah, go ahead. Are you planning to get a financial technology license from the Saudi Central Bank? Akram from Tegeton, do you want to take this? Yes, um, we are all in threat. Actually, it could be uh, one of our options, but uh, this license actually from somehow the Saudi Central Bank would only allow us to uh, serve customers in case a and since uh, Takaturn is a thick um, product that is uh, aimed and intended to be launched on a global uh, scale, we are working on obtaining uh, licensing from countries uh, that allow uh, adoption and use and uh, testing of the technology on on a wider uh, scale. Um, Singapore actually is uh, our main uh, target, and there are uh, some other options in, in the pipeline. Thanks a lot. The other question was from Khalid, why not use Solana? Sorry if this is too technical. All right, do we have um, Aisha in the building? If not, I'll I can I'm cover. Can I take that? Yeah, yeah. please go ahead. Uh, yeah, to be honest, if we went for Solana, you would probably ask uh, why not go for Ethereum? Uh, like uh, many chains have their pros and cons. And there are some benefits to any, uh, there are benefits to all of them. But uh, Solana uh, has, it hasn't as matured, matured as yet, in my opinion. So I think uh, Ethereum has been more battle tested in that front. Plus, it's more common and more popular right at the moment. I think also, um, sorry, just to add on what Mohammed said, I think we have the intention to be multi chain at some point. Uh, but uh, we really needed to do the simple thing first and to prove that people actually want to use this because that is very important. And then, inshallah, we will scale into different chains. Inshallah. 100%. Um, talking about diversity, some people ask a lot, why don't we have a Discord um, channel? Atik, do you want to pick that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, great question on that front. And uh, the key reason is it's not like we're not planning, inshallah. Uh, in the future, when we are uh, you know, much more mature, we will definitely have um, all the channels that uh, you know encompasses Web3, but currently our target is mainly to bridge that gap between the Web2 audience towards the Web3 audience. And as you all know, uh, you know with Discord, the it's more popular among the Web3 audience and not very common with the Web2 audience. So yeah, inshallah, with time we will get there. Uh, but currently the focus is to make sure we are established on platforms where. Web2 audiences are, uh, you know, more open and uh, they have an understanding for those platforms already. Very clear. So I am not getting more questions from the chat. So it's just, okay, I have one here from unknown. But it's just a reminder, you can also, you know, raise your hand and ask a question live, inshallah, or react to the answer that was uh, provided, inshallah. So, Unknown is asking us, is there or are there plans to go 
melty chain in future, like on Aviros, that's going to be made by Marhaba since there was an MOU signed by Takado and Marhaba Metro. Can we get any details regarding the MOU? So, well, since um, as project manager, I've been working on the MOU with the Marhaba team. Alhamdulillah. So our first focus in terms of the details, but the technical part of it, I'll let the tech team answer, inshallah. But our first focus with the Marhaba team, uh, team is really to integrate the SAL wallet to allow you guys to um, not only use MetaMask or other, or other kinds of wallet, but really diversify the means of entry uh, or the point of entry into the wallet. So we're looking into integrating the SAL wallet with them. Now, on the... Um, a V I E O R R word. <laughs> I don't know, Mohammed Aisha. Do you want to take that one? I hope you've seen the 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 question in the chat. I'll I'll let Aisha do that one. I think she has been more enforced with that than me. Or oh, maybe unknown. You can also explain what those are if you if you feel. Inshallah. But Aisha, hold on. Inshallah. Yeah, let her go ahead and explain the question, please. Unknown, are you there? One, two, three. That's the layer one network being developed by Marhaba. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, if I understand, uh, yeah. Yeah, then pretty much uh, it, it could be in uh, subsequent plans, but for now, inshallah, we're just working with them on integrating the SAL wallet. But obviously the sky is the limit and we can look into whatever further partnerships we can do. All right, so um, Ibrahim was asking in the future, are you planning to create your own token? Sharon, do you want to take that? Yes, um, this is an excellent question actually. And um, so let me tell you our thought process with this. A lot of crypto projects, they start with the token they raise a bunch of money and then they start building stuff. And the problem that happens, I mean, the, what ends up happening is that um, they don't actually build anything useful and the token is really just speculated and people try to, you know, just make money, quick money off of this. So we actually want to avoid this. We don't want to launch a token just to shield the token to people, sell it and then watch the price go up and down, up and down, up and down as we, as we build the product. We actually want to, build a product that has real utility with or without a separate token, okay? Now, having said that, um, when we launch our token, which will be for the insurance DAO, so for Teka DAO, that token is actually tied up to the DAO. So it will not be traded as a speculative asset. That token is actually pegged to the assets of the DAO, so it's a form of a stable coin. So that will come later as we um, launch Teka DAO, uh, and the token is really for you to purchase insurance. Wonderful. So, Thank you. Yes. So, so, so anyway. for Takaton, are you planning to launch a token? Takaton? No, the, we will not launch any uh, new token. It will be whatever tokens that exist. So Ethereum, USDC, Bitcoin, USDT, perhaps, um, and various uh, stable coins. Okay. Thank you so much. So another question was, does this target those who are unbanked? or can't afford um, or have access to smartphones. Amira? Yes, sure. Um, hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Amira, uh, Head of Brand and Communications here at uh, Takadao Takaturn. So uh, that's also an amazing question because that is exactly why we started what we do, right? Um, which is targeting those who don't have the opportunity that many of us uh, have the privilege to observe. Now, um, I would actually like to split that into two parts. One is the unbanked. And one is those who, who cannot afford, for example, a smartphone, et cetera. So unbanked, yes, because you don't need a bank account for this, right? Uh, it's all crypto. So as soon as, as long as you can, uh, you know, get your hands on some Ethereum and USDC, you're good to go when it comes to banks. So you don't actually need a bank account, right? And we, we see a lot of use cases of this, uh, especially in the global south, where um, people actually prefer crypto because they can use it for everyday um, things to buy. Now, um, it's not just something that, you know, like in the West uh, where it's more of a privileged thing to do. So that's one part of the answer. The second part is 
someone who, for example, cannot afford a smartphone. Now, smartphone in this case is a very specific question. You don't actually need a smartphone. All you need is access to a phone number to get an OTP. Because for us, privacy and security is very important. So when we when you log into your account, you'll be getting a verification code to the phone number so that you can actually, um, you know, you can actually verify that it's you and it's not just someone else trying to get into your account. And uh, if you look at mobile penetration, that is actually uh, even in those countries where people cannot afford a lot, most people still have a smartphone where there are a phone that is enabling them to receive text messages. So um, yeah, so that's what you need. But in total, all you really need is you need a MetaMask wallet. So you need access to internet that can be through just a normal desktop that where you just, you know, where you just uh, rent the time or you just go and you just go online. You need uh, Ethereum and USDC. So again, you don't need a bank account for this. You need a phone number where you can receive the OTP and you need an email address where you can see uh, information as well. So that's all you need to get started. Wonderful. And I think you have a twin question to it. Oh, it's the other end, uh, if you can answer that as well. Um, how do you withdraw your money to a bank account? I guess they're talking about the contribution and the security. That yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's also an amazing question. Uh, so that really depends on where you are in the world <laughs> because uh, depending on your locality, uh, it may be easier or not as easy. There may be more providers that can help you bridge from the crypto space to the fiat space. So um, we also have actually a lot of resources uh, that go more in specific into that. And again, it really depends on your specific case uh, where you're talking to us from. But there is uh, a lot of, uh, you know, um, a lot of platforms like, you know, for example, Binance is one example. Um, then you have other providers. Uh, like Coinbase, uh, but yeah, it's really it really depends on the region. So you, we'd have to do some research on that. Sometimes you have to go a little bit around it. Yeah, uh, adding to that, there is also M-Pesa, one of the famous uh, uh, mobile payment <laughs> system, is integrating with a lot of crypto now. We do off ramp, on ramp, where you can with your M-Pesa, no need for a bank account. You can still use the M-Pesa, and they're integrating with a lot of <laughs> crypto provider. To be able to help uh, the Kenyan Uganda population wherever MPSA is going. So it's a very interesting to see that and the evolution of uh, adoption with a wallet, a phone wallet to the crypto world. If I may add to that as well, uh, there's also uh, always peer to peer. For example, in uh, Lebanon, uh, there's uh, many people who are willing to exchange crypto for fiat or uh, vice versa. And there are many around the world. It's always that's always a caveat, like you have to trust that person. Uh, but uh, those people exist as well. Hundred percent. Thank you very much. Um, we have another question here. Um, what are the KYC requirements and information required for sign up? Um, Akram. Um, yes, for sign up, you need your uh, full name, your phone number, your verified email uh, address, and your uh, nationality. Pretty much things that all of us have. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. So um, we have another question, which uh, comes back a lot. Um, how can I contact you guys? Uh, yeah, how, how to contact pretty much, how to get in touch in case the issues or what have you. Roa? Or Mariam is Roa is having issues. Yes, sure. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, you can contact us through the Takaturn web page. You will find uh, a button uh, called the chat with us. So immediately we will be talking to you. Um, and the second uh, method, you can just contact us through the email help at uh, takaturn.io. So also we will be able to reach you immediately, inshallah, and, and be available. Uh, and also you can just chat and, and ask whatever you are thinking about through the Telegram community uh, uh, group. So uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you so much. So is there a question that I have missed? Um, at this point, if not, then let's continue with the other ones. Uh, um, yeah, there's one question saying, yeah. will all this info 
uh, be available to us with the links. Oh yeah, Ritz back. Do you want to take that? Yeah, sure. Hey, everyone. I'm Ridba from Taka Trends Growth Team. So yeah, sure. You are going to have all of the information with the links and how to hand works. Right after this webinar, we are going to send an email with all, all the information that is provided over here. So inshallah, you'll be able to get all of this in your email inboxes. Wonderful. So uh, maybe uh, one last thing. Uh, I don't know why. I we kept the controversial, not controversial, but an interesting one for the end. What happens uh, if somebody defaults? Actually, Sharon has touched on this uh, during her presentation, but uh, repetition is the mother of learning. So, Chirag, do you want to take that? Or if he's having issues, I can let Aisha actually go ahead. Uh, Shirag is back now. Yes. Sorry, can you repeat the question, Lila? What happens when somebody defaults? Okay, okay. So basically, defaulting is uh, sometimes like when person misses the payment. So this is what we call uh, defaulting. Also, like if we talk about the uh, sort of like this name meaning, so it's something like when you are failing to something like you're obligated to. So yeah. Okay. And specifically, yeah, when, what happens when somebody defaults in Takatan? Okay, so like uh, when somebody defaults, like uh, you misses the payment, then it automatically like deducts from your security deposit, like which you have paid in the Ethereum. So we automatically deduct the payment from your Ethereum sort of security deposit. So that is something which happens. Okay, Shirag, yeah. So uh, more questions. Uh, in the chat actually no oh sharon can you please uh, mention the question because of um i think that's about it i think everyone um has uh i think that's it all right wonderful so we will we'll be moving on uh inshallah to the next part of our uh, webinar, I'll just be presenting my screen again. Once I find, um, yes, the tab is right here. Sorry about that. So we now have something very, very exciting to finish on. And this is an activity to get all of your brains, you know, back and, you know, um, thinking about everything, we'll be playing Kahoot together. So it's not just about learning and meeting the team, it's about working together, having fun together, and really building that community sense. But before we go in there, um, Sharon, do you want to give a quick um, a quick overview of what is here to win, inshallah? What are we playing for? So this is a sneak peek of um, what, inshallah, we are we'll be launching very soon alongside with Tech Turner and Tech Adele. Uh, we'll be actually launching an NFT project that um, in order to help us reach more customers and reach more people and uh, you know, to, to really engage our community and to build this community. So as a, as a preview, we will inshallah have this game right now that we're going to play as our last activity and the winner will get an NFT from our NFT project. Sorry, what's an NFT again? It's, oh no, there was when we get into this very technical thing. It's a non-fungible token, which um, for many of you who, I don't know, maybe paid attention to the news, uh, there was like a huge thing in the last couple of years where um, it's some kind of artwork that for which you own the copyright. So it, it, essentially, if you own an NFT, you own the copyright to that piece of artwork. It could be art, it could be music, it could be, I don't know, a, 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 a gift. It, there, there are many, many things that count as an NFT. But the important thing is it exists on the blockchain. And when you own the NFT, you own the rights to it and nobody else can, um, can use it without your permission in theory. Okay, so I hope that's clear for everyone. Let's... Uh 
get into the activity, inshallah. I'm sharing my screen and this is how Kahoot works. You need to have two screens. So if right now you are joining from uh, your laptop, pull out your phone, okay? Uh, you can scan the barcode right here or just go to kahoot.it. Uh, a team member will drop it in the, in the chat. Kahoot.it and enter this uh, game pin, inshallah. If you're on your uh, phone, um, I hope you can open a, another, um, another tab on your phone or just use a laptop or use another screen. The point is you need to be able to read from my screen and answer on your screen, inshallah. So this is the game pin 930. And in the meantime, great, we have Amira in already. In the meantime, um, and please, can you join um, with the name that you have on Zoom? It'll just make it easier in case you are the winner first to know who to send the, the gift to, inshallah. If we send it to Legacy, uh, I guess we'll, we'll have a bit of a problem. So please, you guys, go ahead. I need to see that. Um, Cynthia Lejoncourt, I want to see Hayat Azimov, Khalid Khardi, Mikael Brug, Mohammed Basharat, Mohammed Bouk, uh, many, many Mohammeds, mashallah. Mohammed Abdul Sabur, Mohammed Ibrahim, Mohammed Zakla, Munish, Mustafa, Reza, um, and then unknown. You guys go ahead and join. And I'll give you one more minute to join in, Charlie, and we can start the activity. If you have joined, by the way, it will be helpful to drop a done in the chat. Oh, Monish is legacy. Great. Wonder. Monish, I, your NFT will not be lost. <laughs> in case you are the winner, mashallah. Great. Wonderful. So we now have. 22 people. Great. Okay, so I think we can start, inshallah. So um, normally everybody has played this before, but just as a quick reminder, you'll get questions and 20 seconds to answer those questions. Um, the leader will be the one who answers correctly, obviously, but also the fastest, inshallah. So let's get started into that. Start, inshallah. It's our beta launch activity, guys. Very exciting. The first question is a quiz, and it's uh, asking on what technology is crypto based? Is it based on artificial intelligence? Is it on blockchain? Is it on microbiology? Or is it on TikTok? Which technology do you think? Uh, crypto is based on, you have three seconds left. One, let's look at the results. Mashallah, this is a complete, very good, congratulations. You guys can use the reactions as well and you can unmute to, to, to comment on the, on the results as well. Great job. So let's see who is the leader at this point. Wow, okay. Legacy was not playing, but I forgot to tell you, this was an easy one practice guys no point but watch out for Libyas inshallah he's uh, he's doing it let's go to the next question it's a quiz again which of these statements are true women account for most of the unbanked or china and india are the largest unbanked population or both are true what do you think? Four seconds left. Four, five, three, two, one. Then, mashallah, both are true. And we actually had two people. That's true. Women account for most of the environment. And that's also the, the, the added value, right, of, of giving this um, opportunity to take a turn. It's definitely social impact, but also, and especially social impact for women, because we know that most of the people or the demographic that gets involved into cheat funds or 
uh, money circles, however you call them back home, they're women, right? So it's, it's uh, very, very rewarding to know that we're doing that. All right, but both were true, China and India, also the largest unbanked population. That's normal, the, the largest population just back for everything. Great, congratulations to Cynthia for moving up. Unknown is in the building. Welcome Akram, Aisha and Reza. Let's move forward. It's a quiz now, which of these terms is not used to describe money circles around the world? Is it Mangu? Is it Chitfan? Is it Roska? Or is it Jamaria? Which is not used to describe money circles around the world? Four seconds left. Oh, wow. Okay. People actually thought it was Ruska. Ruska, it's used, uh, I think, English speaking people, mostly in the Americas, sometimes in Nigeria as well. Wonderful. But mango, it, who, who can guess what mango means? Just a just a guess. Which fruit? A fruit. A mango, yes. It just means mango in my local. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, well, like anti anticlimax. I thought it was going to be something much more interesting. That's it. Very good. Okay, so let's look at the leader board. Wow. Unknown is back in the building. And I would like for you to make yourself known, inshallah, at the end. Uh, if you if you win, inshallah, we'll know you. All right. So, up seven places in the world, the highest climber. Congratulations to him. Let's move on. This is the quiz again. Who owns the Bitcoin network? Is it the CIA? Maybe it's Satoshi. Is it nobody? Is it Elon Musk? He owns a bunch of things. All right, so you have eight seconds left. Who owns the Bitcoin network? Wonderful. Okay, so most people actually got it right. Some people thought it was Satoshi. No? This is actually a nickname. We don't know where it is um, actually. And it's not Elon Musk. Uh, he's into something else, but I wouldn't. So nobody, meaning it's decentralized, right? Nobody owns it. Nobody controls it. Uh, it runs through a consensus mechanism, of all of the nodes in the network. Moving on. Let's see, let's see. Okay, Cynthia Galpower. Congratulations, Cynthia, for going on top. Welcome to Mariam and Muhammad. I'm unbelievable. And Abdullah is going places, mashallah. He's the highest climber now. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Which cryptocurrency was the most expensive at the end of 2017? Was it a good or bad year for cryptocurrencies? Is it Ethereum? Is it Bitcoin? Is it Dogecoin? Is it Tesla coin? It's Dogecoin, trust me. Yeah, it goes, it's in the name, guys. You just have to read the name and you'll see which Embrace one. the Doge. <laughs> of course, it was Bitcoin. It's the OG of the cryptocurrencies and the most valuable. So yeah, that was Bitcoin. It was not Dogecoin. It was definitely not Tesla coin, guys. I've made it up. It doesn't exist anywhere, um, as far as I know. And it was not in theory. Okay. So, Mohammed, congratulations. Applause for you. You guys send him a uh, uh, reaction, inshallah. And then for sure. Welcome, mashallah. Great job. And then talk about crypto was lost here on before. Sorry about that. Uh, Leila, your sound kind of diminishes. I think when you go, when you turn your to your other screen, so stay yeah. close to the Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so. Next one, this is true or false, and it's double points. In take a turn, contributions are made using ETH, and the security deposit is paid using USDC. Is it true or false? You have 15 seconds to answer this, double points. So anything is possible. You can get on that leaderboard, and you can definitely become the leader if you answer this right. Contributions in ETH, security deposit in USDC, true or false? Wow, it's false. Good job. The majority of people got it. Um, 
So it's actually uh, the opposite, right? So contributions are made in USDC, the one which is pegged to the US dollar. And uh, uh, the security deposit is in ETH because it has appreciable um, value. And we hope that by the end of the term, you get more than what you had put in. But good job to those who got it right. And for those who didn't, I hope it's clear now. Let's see. Akram, Evangeline, Aisha, Unknown, and Reza. I want to celebrate Reza for joining. Mashallah is 4444 up, Mashallah. And Unknown, uh, maybe sometime I'll call you 2023 because that's what we're calling. Congrats as well. Okay. Next one, true or false. Per annum rate of interest on microloans in Pakistan are commonly less than 10%. Rate of interest on microloans in Pakistan are commonly less than 10%. Is that true or is that false? It's a huge country, a very, very um, large developing population. If they give them loans, do they give them loans less than 10% or more than 10%? Inshallah. So most people think that, it, yeah, it's not, they don't actually think they got it right. It's more than 10%. Uh, we're talking sometimes about 20 and I've read sometimes even 38% interest rate too. This is what happens. Sorry, is somebody trying to speak? Okay, no. This is what happens when, you know, you um, rely on the system, which is interest-based. Uh, you're talking about the most vulnerable people and the cost of uh, funds for them is made even um, more expensive. So we hope to be able to tackle that with um, Takatun, inshallah, and give them something that is there and help them, you know, in starting the businesses and do or doing whatever they need to do to, you know, get to the next level, inshallah. So that was 100% false. And yeah, we're here to help Pakistan get up, inshallah. Okay. And if we have a crowd from the Future Fest, please say hi, say something. I'm very happy to have you here. Okay, so Akram is... Up. We still have Reza. Reza is hanging up there. Unknown is up again. Good job. It's not lost, you guys. Try, try, try. And we have another double point. Okay. This is the double point. Hmm. Which countries had the most grassroots crypto adoption in 2022? Grassroots. Was it US and Ukraine? Was it Nigeria and India? Was it Turkey and Argentina? Or was it Vietnam and the Philippines? I see Emma smiling. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Which one was it? Okay, you guys. Wow, okay, so 10. The, the, most people thought it was Nigeria and India. That, okay. that is unexpected, actually. This one yeah. I didn't know. Very, very unexpected. Like Vietnam and the Philippines. Right, and a grassroots means it's not business, it's ordinary people like you and I, you know, opening the, their wallets for the first time, buying crypto for the first time, you know. So yes, it's Vietnam and Philippines, but all of these countries listed are in the top 20, so you were not too far. Okay, so let's have a look now at the podium. All right, I think the job, Evangeline is the second one, okay. And who is the first person? Mashallah, congratulations to Akram for winning. And we have runners of Unknown and Aisha. All right. Unknown will have to know you now. So congratulations. And we will be sharing, inshallah, your... Just stop sharing. We will be sharing the NFTs, inshallah, by email or reaching out to you guys by email once they are ready. So with that, we come to the end of our webinar. I hope, yes, I know, right? I know. Uh, I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned a lot. I want to give some time to anybody who wants to unmute themselves, you know, and um, say something. <laughs> say something and, you know, just the uh, parting words, inshallah. I know a lot is happening in the chat, but I would like to hear from you. I, I, I'm very, very curious to hear from you unknown. Who are you? Can you make yourself known? If not, then anybody else that would like to, you know, parting words. 
great interaction. Can't wait for this. <laughs> you guys are such a, such a wonderful crowd. <laughs> no, but anyway, thank you guys for coming. Um, Leila, uh, maybe you can show the the last slide in the presentation. Um, yes. Feel free to now go and sign up for Take a Turn, and um, we will be live tomorrow. You can join your first turn groups. And again, we want to re reiterate, we're trying to build a community here. So we are here for you guys. And if you have any questions, we're here to support you in whatever you need, inshallah. Yeah. And oh, and um, yeah. Later. Sir. Yeah. Yes. So touch on that, sorry. Yeah, sorry. The, I want to say that um, because it is a beta, expect there to be bugs, all right? Uh, but don't worry, um, the smart contracts have been thoroughly tested, so there shouldn't be any fear on that side. However, the, the UI may be a little bit buggy. You might see notifications which are incorrect, maybe some missing emails, uh, but everything, inshallah, will uh, work as it's supposed to. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so like last note, you guys uh, are making history, alhamdulillah. Just know that you're part of this uh, first batch of people who believe and trust and want to try the product. So I encourage you, um, inshallah, to come in, invite your friends. Inshallah, all transactions as a beta are completely guaranteed as well. So there's no uh, issue. Don't freak out your money. It would be uh, completely uh, safe. We will make sure that Every single transaction is uh, secured by Takatun. And uh, Alhamdulillah, so looking forward to uh, growing this uh, community. And uh, inshallah, uh, enjoy the Ramadan, coming Ramadan, and uh, talk to you soon, guys. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you so much for your time from the entire team. I thank you a lot. And you can look forward to some surprises in the upcoming emails, inshallah. Don't take a turn. We are always here to help you from Muslims to the world, inshallah. Support yourselves and support others. Thank you.